Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, as promised, we're going to check out Miximo and how to bring in these animations into your project. Here we've got an idle animation, a walking animation, a punching animation. I'll show you how to bring these in and bring your project to life. All free or easy to apply. Let's go check it out. We're going to look at Miximo. We're going to look at the characters and we're going to look at the animations. It's a free service. You can use any of these characters that they have and put it in your commercial game as well as the animations. So let's look at some of these. So let's start by clicking on characters. Here we have loads of characters that we can actually use in our commercial games for free. Select one, it will load it up, and then you can look at this character from all angles. Let's look at animations. In animations, we have bucket loads of animations that we can use for free in our commercial products. I mean, this saves so much time. And all you need to do is select one. <laughs> How cool is that one? And then, uh, you know, once you're happy with one, all you do is download it. Or this is available to you. In this animation, we have a hit one. And as you can see, the it's showing the model taking hits. We have some configuration here. We can actually change the direction of the hit. We can, you know, increase the damage of the hit. Another configuration changes that we can make. We can also upload our own models that we've created. And to do this, we do need to log in. So do that, sign up and log in. Now to upload a character, we simply click the upload character button. Drag in your file, FBX file that you found in the description or any others that you might have created yourself. So I'm going to drag mine in. Just simply drag it in there. It's going to process the character and it should bring up the model for you. The next thing you're going to do is click next and you're just going to apply certain markers. I'm going to put where my chin is, well my model's chin is. The wrist, elbows, knees, and groin. Next thing is, my character doesn't have any fingers, so we're going to choose no fingers. And next. In this part, it's doing auto-rigging. It's going to put the bones in. Now, when I look at this, I don't see any defects, but sometimes what you might have is certain defects where some parts of the body might be moving with, you know, with bones that it shouldn't be moving with. So this is the skin. So what you can do is go back and adjust the locations of where you put the risk and the chin and all that to adjust it. If you're happy with it, go to next you'll see your model here, okay? Click on animations, and you now can click on any of those animations and it will apply to your model, okay? But at this stage, what I would do is download your model that's been rigged. So I'm gonna click on download. Now it will download the T pose, but we wanna do it for Unity. So click that option, and download. Now that model and the T-pose is what's skinned. The next steps I'm going to show you is without the skin because then it makes it really lightweight and it only brings in the animations because we've already got the skin with the model. So now I'm going to pick one and I'm going to find one called idle. So I'll just type in idle up here and you'll get all bunch of animations that have idle. So let's say I want to pick this one here with him tapping his feet. Click on download and make sure it is for Unity and this time without a skin and download. I'm going to pick another one. There's another good set that I like. It's called Sword and Shield. 
because my characters tend to be carrying things and so this one's already animated with carrying two items so now I'm going to farm one with punch and I'm going to download this one again without the skin there are a number of animations that I'd like you to be aware of which is ones that move the character Now you'll see that the character is constantly moving here. When you download this as it is, this is what will happen in your animations, okay? It will move the character and it will move the character's transform position. But if you want to be able to control that transform position yourself in Unity, click on In Place. And then let's download this one. Again, without skin and for Unity. So now we're going to head off to Unity. So open up the demo real scene and we're going to drag in our T-Pose model as well as the animations. So I'm going to now create a animations folder in my assets. I'm going to grab my farmer model and put it into the models folder. I'm going to grab the three animations that I downloaded and place them in the animations folder. So in that folder we have our animations as well as our model. Now for the farmer model I want you to click on that and in materials set to none and apply. Then I want you to go to let's say your idle animation and do the same thing set to none and apply Animations, set a loop time, and apply, and do the same for the other two. So what we'll do now is drag our farmer into the scene. I'll click on models, farmer, drag into the hierarchy, and we have them there. I'm going to press F to zoom in a little bit. Drag him just above the ground, and a little bit out here, and drag him down again. Beautiful. A farmer, mm, yeah, let's say the scaling is fine. Okay, so now our farmer in the scene is still a model, and not a prefab, so I'm going to make him a prefab. And the actual farmer was textured with the same texture that we used for the tree and the rock and the ground. So I'm going to go into material, go to common, drag it here, nothing happens. Obviously you need to drag it onto the model. And there you go. Our model's nice and coloured. Now applying the animations to the character is really easy to start with. So what I'm going to do is drag the idle animation on my farmer. By expanding this, grab the idle and drag that onto the farmer. Now that has created a controller and using that, referencing that animation. Okay, so now what I'll do is go to the animator, which I have here, and I'll click on my farmer, and you can see that it's going to go straight to idle. So let's press play and have a look. You can see straight away my character is animating. So now let's wire up the other animations. Now I don't know if you've done animations before, but we're going to keep this real basic. Up here in the animator, we can create some parameters. I'm going to pick this boolean one, and I'm going to call it punch. So every time that switches on, the character's going to punch. So now all we have to do is go to the punching, drag that animation here, right click idle make a transition to here right click punching make a tr transition back click on that transition line from idle to punching and we're going to set the over here set the has exit time check take the check off that expand settings take the check off fixed duration and zero for the transition duration then over here we're going to go from idle to punching when that boolean that we set up there is true. 
and then the opposite way we'll do the same things switch off these zero this out condition is when it's false let's do another one for walking so drag walking up here do a transition to it transition back and when it's going to walk we'll do the exit timing and zeroing out again and then the condition here will be walking this time so we need to go over here and create a new boolean walk will come in this drop down now and when that's set to true in the opposite direction turn these off zero out condition walking and when it's false Okay, so let's try these out. So if I'm pressing play now and you have a look here, you can see here that it's idling, my character's idling and it's looping. When I switch on punch, you'll see our character punching. And when I switch on walk, it'll walk. And then when neither of them, it'll go back to idle. So let's code this in on KeyPress, these animations. So go to Scripts, right click here, go to Create, a C Sharp Script. We'll call it um, Animation Controller. I'm going to double click on that to open up in Visual Studio. And we need to set the boolean. We need to give that name, and that's the same name that was given in our parameters here. So punch and walk. There are better ways to do this, but for this tutorial, we'll just stay with this. So true. Okay, and we'll do the same thing for walking. Save it. Go back to Unity. Now drag that script onto the farmer, maximize it on play. So now when we press P, our player will punch and press W, our player will walk. You've now put some animations into your character. How cool is that? I hope you like this video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next few videos. Thank you.